Our new Eau Claire downtown office provided a unique opportunity to create something special for the community. Commissioning a sculpture for the property to add to the already vibrant visual arts scene in downtown was the natural choice. We focused our effort on selecting a local artist to create a sculpture that would reflect our historic beginnings in Eau Claire while also paying tribute to our Uniroyal roots and serve as a symbolic representation of the strong future ahead for RCU. I had heard rumors of Royal Credit Union wanting to do a sculpture and a tribute piece like this, and it piqued my interest, of course. And then I heard that Dan had gotten picked as a front runner. They were looking for a, someone to design a sculpture that would incorporate the history and the backstory of how the Royal Credit Union came into being and that it started as part of the Uniroyal Tire Company. And I thought, well, that's pretty exciting, good for Dan. And would you know, just a couple days later, he comes knocking on my door and he says, I think I have a fantastic opportunity here to do a great sculpture and I'm gonna need your help, Greg. I knew that if I was gonna do this project, I was gonna have to partner with Greg. Brought the mock up, showed Greg and said, hey, can you do this? Can you build this piece? And he was very excited about it and said, yep, it can be done. The piece is fairly complicated. There's a lot of curve. Curve linear, it's straight. You know, he took some time to consider what the fabrication process would be like, what type of material would be appropriate for it. So we selected a stainless material. It's timeless, it's classic. It's kind of the high watermark for corporate sculpture. It's, it's really what you do when you're not cutting corners. You've progressed in your fabrication, in your design, in your artistry skills. So when you take on a project that's this complex, it requires more than just myself or Dan. So we had some of our designers involved in this, lead fabricators. We've had a lot of roundtable discussions about how we're gonna bring this whole project to fruition. And I first started playing around with like, just actually the, the Uniroyal font extrapolating that out into what would that look like as a large sculpture and it just didn't work for me. I wanted the U, the U form to be an integral part of it but I went to what's called a catenary arch form. In itself is a, the only self-supporting arch when it's in the form of an arch but architecturally it's a very strong form that comes when you take a chain you just let it hang naturally from one end to the other and I actually did that in the design stage. I hung a chain and trace that arc and work that into the design. So obviously the tire element of it became a round cylindrical opening in the middle. The area in between reflects the curve of the river, of the water, which was critical to the production at the plant, but it also is reflective of the S bridge that crosses the river at Unero. And then finally, I wanted to tie to the first hundred members. And so there are coin shapes, there are circular shapes that are placed throughout a hundred of them, 50 per side. Those can be interpreted in many ways. I thought of them first in terms of the individuals, but they're also coin shaped and they'll be copper colors, so it could relate to saving your pennies. What really resonates with me is, is the community piece. And in it, it's exciting to think about Royal Credit Union developing and coming alongside this community in Uniroyal and the members and just how all of that works together to, to help coalesce our community. The Royal Sculpture is a monumental piece of art filled with symbolism and a visual reminder of RCU's commitment to those we serve. My hope for the Royal Sculpture is that it will stand the test of time and act as a daily reminder of the important role Royal Credit Union has played in making a difference in the community we call home.